Hello everyone. It has been quite a while since I've been able to film. I had a, a broken camera, which is why I'm shooting on my phone right now. And I've been kind of slacking in this area in my life. So what's new? Well, I turned 35 on Friday, which at first I thought was gonna be really um, bad. <laughs> Just because 35 has such a negative connotation with it. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear, outside the wind is howling. In Toronto, it is negative 11 degrees right now and it is fully winter. So we have definitely just gone into winter straight from fall, which has been also a part of <clears throat> the birthday blues that I was accumulating. I was feeling kind of sad about my birthday because 35 is an age where you're supposed to have your life together. And I don't, <laughs> I don't at all. I have a great apartment and I have a great boyfriend and relationship and good friends and I'm working towards getting my life together, but it's just not there yet. And there's also like the baby talk, which is very frustrating to me because it's like, okay, I just figured out I wanted to have kids and now I have to have them right now. <laughs> like we're in an economy that I keep, like a cauliflower is like $14. How am I supposed to have a child? It's all very scary and frustrating. So I was feeling really just kind of sad leading up to my birthday. And, uh, and then it came and I had a great time and my boyfriend really pulled together and got all my friends together and made me feel special. So I'm really grateful for that. And I was definitely being like a little bit of a baby. And so I'm recalibrating now. <laughs> um, I wanted to also say thank you because you guys have been still keeping up with my channel. A lot of you have been just like writing such lovely comments. And uh, there's one comment that I saw recently that made me really question just my entire existence, which was on my dramatic classic video, someone said that not only am I a dramatic classic, I am also a bright or true spring, which to me was absolutely mind blowing because there has not been a moment in my entire life where I've felt like I have a warm complexion. I've always been told that I am pale and blue toned. So I'm wearing kind of like a goldish earring today and I've been trying to experiment lately a little bit with a, a bright spring palette, even though I feel like wrong in it. Um, there are times when I put on a color that's very vibrant and I feel like it looks harmonious, but I still just don't know because I just don't feel warm toned. I've never felt warm toned before. So I'm kind of breaking some of the um, like thoughts that I had that were super staunchly like I am cool toned, I am soft natural, I am this and that, blah, blah, blah. And just like expanding my mind a little bit more and maybe I've been wrong, you know? I don't think I'm any one thing. I think, and I don't think anybody else is. I think we're all just little parts of these things and they're just guidelines and they help and they're fun and they're a great way to build community and to um, explore fashion and explore your own identity and your expression. But it's not like a hard and fast way to say, this is what I am. Being said, lately my outfits have been more dramatic classic. And if you've noticed, I got a haircut because I wanted something, um, just a little sleeker, even though it's a little wavy right now. A little sleeker and just a little more, um, just like shorter, maybe a little bit more sophisticated. I really like kind of like a polished hair look and I think it suits me. So another thing that I think might be a dramatic classic kind of tell. This video is very rambly and I'm so sorry for that. And there's a wind that's howling that sounds like literal wolves outside and <laughs> I can't do anything about it, I'm, I'm really sorry. I usually don't make resolutions on New Year's, I generally make them on my birthday. So a couple of the resolutions that I've made going forward now that I am a 35 year old woman, it still feels so weird because I swear to God, I feel like I'm like, I don't know, 21. <laughs> I feel 21 at times and it's strange to think that I'm halfway to 40, but say la vie. Some of the kind of goals that I want to set for this year or the intentions that I want to set going forward have a lot to do with self-esteem, which I've talked about in previous videos, and a lot to do with self-worth and trying to be more minimalistic and not use consumerism as a way to 
pad my identity and to get dopamine. I've been putting way more of an effort into working out lately. Half because I want to be in shape and half because um, I find that it helps my mood swings, which have gotten worse as I've aged, which is bizarre, uh, but I can't help it. <laughs> well, I can't help it. Well, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm trying to help it. I've been running um, almost every day, which sucks, but feels nice. And I've been trying to change the way that I receive dopamine and I've been reading a lot of books. I read recently, The Mountain Is You, um, which I'll put up on the screen. I read uh, Mastering Your Emotions, which was extremely helpful. I am a very emotional person and very sensitive and I'd like to change that about myself. I think vulnerability and being emotional are good things, but I think that they can be debilitating when you take everything uh, through a perception of negativity. And I don't always do that, but I, I definitely have done that. And I wanna change that about myself. I want to change my self perception and my perception of other people. So that book was great for that. And I'm currently reading The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, which is kind of a drier read, but it has some good things in it that have been helping. But the number one thing I'd say that's been helping me lately is just making a commitment to working out and following through with it. Self-respect is like the greatest form of self-love I've heard. So I'm trying my best to keep my promises to myself and follow through. And I haven't let that slip and that's been really great. So I wanna keep that going into my 35th year. Read more books, finish my UX certificate, which is really important because I'd like to stop being a server and have more stability. So I'm working towards that. I'm working towards losing some of the anxiety I feel about getting older and just being like, you know what? Getting older is sick. Being an older woman is sick. Being, like in a good way, being um, just like happy with who I am and how I look and just comfortable is the best thing, you know? That's it, let's try on some outfits. I've been rambling for 10 minutes. Hopefully I can cut some of this cause it's gonna be annoying to watch all that, but let's see some outfits. Let's look at some of the nice winter outfits I've been wearing lately and yeah, let's go. So this is the first outfit I've been wearing a lot, which is an H&M sweater with some nice navy slacks. I also purchased this uh, scarf at Common Store, which is in my neighborhood. And I just like, like the combination of colors here. I don't know if they're my colors, but I just think they look nice together. Um, the slacks are a little bit tricky because they are fast fashion which we don't love, but I kind of was in a pinch and I had to get them. And I really love how they look. They're just like nice slacks from H&M. Um, the ankle, which I'll show you. Just like a cozy, nice little outfit. And you can untuck it or you can tuck it in. I prefer it tucked just because I have a short torso. So I need to have kind of shorter, more cropped things because it just balances out a little bit better. So that's the first outfit, let's move on. Okay, so here's another look that I love, which is just a nice kind of H&M turtleneck in gray. Um, it's like a wool blend, so it is really cozy and really comfy. And then a pair of Levi's. I'll pair this with a pair of leather boots generally, like my brown ones or my black ones. And then sometimes I'll put on this red coat. This coat is very bright. <laughs> I don't know if the silhouette fits me at all, but the color I just really like. Like, I don't know if it washes me out or if it's too bright for me, but I sometimes wear it and I feel really good in it. So that's another kind of thing that makes me wonder whether or not I'm bright spring. I'll put on a toque with like a lot of saturation as well, so it's more like a green, red kind of look. The shape is very red M&M, uh, which I don't love. <laughs> I think I maybe need something a little more tailored, but I really like the color, so I try my best to make it work. What's next? Okay, so here's a sweater that I bought when I was absolutely positively certain I was a soft natural. I like this sweater. It's very drapey, it's got the sleeves that we all know and love and appreciate. 
that wind is howling. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, and I always tuck it into Levi's or into a nice black pair of slacks. And I like how this sweater feels. I like that I can move around. I like that it's kind of got like a drapey kind of boat neck. I just am not sure if the color is right for me. I don't know if it's a little too dark or too something, but I do love the fit of the sweater. Sometimes I'll pair this with my Aritzia coat. Let me show you that. This coat has been a point of contention in my life because I spent a lot of money on it. It's from, it's like a Wilfrid or Babaton one. <clears throat> and I bought it because I thought, oh, okay, it's drapey, it's good for soft natural. But I don't know if I like how it looks. It's like, I need to get it tailored or something. Whew. Feels good because it's so cold in my room right now. Uh, and I just don't think it does too much for me. Like it's very long, probably too long. And this part just doesn't, I don't think flatters me. I think if it went up like this and like buttoned there, I think I would like it more. But as it stands, this is a very expensive coat that I just don't think is that flattering. I reach for it sometimes. It is very warm. It's made out of uh, merino wool, so it's like a very warm coat, but it's just not, I don't know, it's just not the shape for me or something. Or maybe if I get it tailored, it'll look nicer. Cut-wise, I think this H&M coat just kind of suits me a little bit better because it's just, I don't know why. It's like, it's a better length and I don't know. It feels like it's more tailored or something. I just feel like it's a better fit. Uh, so I usually reach for this one more than the expensive Babaton one, which feels bad because I spent a lot of money on that. So maybe I can get it tailored and just see. So that's the second kind of little cozy casual winter outfit. Let's go with something a little more formal. So here's another look that I've been wearing semi-frequently. Uh, blazers are back in fashion, but this isn't a fashionable blazer. This is more like H&M circa like 2014, I think. This is a uh, more like fitted, it's not really like oversized, but I still like it. I still think it looks nice. I pair it with some Levi's, the wedgie ones, and then just my kind of chambray shirt, which you can see here. Sometimes I'll put this scarf on and it gives sort of like, just a little bit more of like a collegiate feel, which I appreciate. I, generally feel a little more put together. I want to buy a blazer, but I don't know how to. And I don't want to buy, this one has stood up the, to the test of time. I've had this for years, but H&M is such low, poor quality that I don't want to buy just like a cheap one and um, have it like look bad. So I'm really taking my time trying to find the right blazer, the right shape. But in the meantime, just kind of seeing about it with this one. And I like this one a lot. I wear it with this shirt underneath, or sometimes I'll put a white shirt underneath, or like a patterned one. And it is a little more like masculine or whatever, but I I just like how it looks. It's a it's a little bit of a businesswoman casual. <laughs> Do you have a businesswoman special? Just kidding. Let's see what else. Okay, well this is as boring as it gets, but it is what I like the most. I wear this outfit on a near daily basis. I wear it to work because we're supposed to wear black and it's just a pair of black skinny jeans, uh, high-waisted from H&M like years ago, and then a black cropped turtleneck. Um, there's something kind of classic about a turtleneck. I want to pick up some of the Uniqlo ones that are a little bit tighter because I think I could stand to just go a little bit tighter with it, um, more of a dramatic classic vibe. I think this is more soft natural right now because it's very loose and kind of free, which I love as well. But it's a boring outfit, but it's what I wear mostly. I pair it with just like a sporty jacket going to the gym. I know that right now wide legs are very, very popular and very in, but for whatever reason, I'm 5'2 and they make me look like I'm 15. Like when I wear wide leg jeans with like a puffy coat, I just feel like I'm 15 and I would love to be 15 again, but it just makes me not feel like my most powerful best self, unfortunately. So I'm sticking with skinny jeans, <laughs> I'm sticking with high waist, I am not giving up on them, they are staying with me, and 
that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> that's the last look. Uh, these aren't really like looks, they're more just like what I have in my closet, what I've been wearing. I uh, would love some suggestions about things um, going forward. There's a lot of winter trends out right now and I'm going to strategically shop them but not really, really buy into a lot of stuff because I still don't know where I fit on the Kibbe scale or my color palette. So I'm still just kind of cautiously seeing about fashion um, and trying my best, but that's it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was a rambling mess. I really love that you spent the time with me today and just hung out and checked out some of my clothes and outfits and would really love if you subscribed and if you liked the video to press like and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and take care.